There's been mixed international reaction to the latest U.S. sanctions on North Korea's human rights abuses. As you'd imagine, North Korea reacted furiously, but U.S. allies, South Korea and Japan, welcomed Washington's move in the strongest possible terms. For its part, the U.N. is calling for the international community, including China, to get more serious about human rights. Kwon Soa reports. North Korea has condemned the U.S. human rights sanctions on the regime, which even put Kim Jong-un on the blacklist. It's calling the move, quote, an open declaration of war, warning that it will close all diplomatic channels with the U.S. unless the blacklisting is revoked. In response, the U.S. is demanding the North stop its actions and rhetoric and said Washington will continue to pressure Pyongyang for its human rights violations. U.S. State Department spokeswoman Katina Adams said the steps the U.S. has taken are to, quote, promote accountability for North Korean officials responsible for serious human rights abuses and censorship. While South Korea and Japan welcomed the move, China did not, saying the North's human rights issues are not a threat to international peace and security. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry earlier this week asked his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi to help pressure its longtime ally. U.N. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon called for comprehensive international action, also giving a message to Beijing. He hopes that member states, including China, uses its influence to encourage the DPRK authorities to cooperate with international uh, human rights mechanisms. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.